Hi, my name's Tristan, and these are the Kawaguchi Lectures. On Sunday the 14th, 2019, I was lucky enough to be present at a series of lectures that Mr Kawaguchi gave at the Australian leg of the Gundam Builders World Cup. These lectures were unique from the point of view that they've only ever been delivered once in public, and this was in Osaka, Japan, I believe it was earlier this year. They have never been delivered, heard, or viewed in the English-speaking world. With the help of Lincoln Wright, who is the brains and face behind Paint and Plastic and is also a 25-year veteran of the Japanese modelling industry, we are now very lucky to be able to have these lectures, as I said, have never been heard of outside of Japan and they've only occurred once before. Uh, thanks to Lincoln, we're actually able to get a translation into modeler's language um, and now just gain some insight into the way Mr. Kawaguchi does stuff. We were privileged enough to be able to hear him speak quite passionately about one of his favourite topics, which is using the Gundam story to influence your Gunpla building, alongside getting an insider's point of view of the judging process at the, the finals of the Gundam Builders World Cup. These lectures are unique from the point of view that at these conventions, he usually just delivers workshop style demonstrations, which is him showing people how to paint or how to scribe etc 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 we don't actually get to hear him talk through a process and show and share the love that he has for this this property that he's been involved with since day one it's now celebrating 40 years so you know he, he is as we all know the face of Gundam but I don't think a lot of people understand his actual role and involvement in the property so to be able to actually listen to him talk about this stuff as opposed to showing us how to do things was a very unique experience given that these two talks went for well over an hour i've split them up into their natural breaking points uh, just to allow for easier access for viewing because if you're like me trying to sit down and digest something that's like 60 plus minutes is actually quite difficult so i've split them up into four to five parts each uh, at natural break points in the in the talks focusing on a specific topic uh, that was in that section of the talk I do apologize in advance. The noise, sound quality, I've, I've done the best that I can. I am not a sound engineer. I've isolated and boosted the volume and the audio as much as I can. But unfortunately, there is a bit of noise in the background because it is filmed at a convention. Uh, in one of the talks, there's like a trumpet playing some anime theme for a couple of minutes, which does get a little bit annoying, but you can still hear the audio quite well. So I do apologize in advance. Remember, I'm not a professional professional film sound person. I'm just a guy with a camera who is sitting in the front row. Please enjoy these videos. Um, I'm really hoping that they're of help to you. And it was my pleasure to be able to record them and edit them. Again, I do apologize for the sound quality. I've done the best that I can. I'm not a professional, so please enjoy. <laughs> So this one is uh, number three from Thailand. And then, uh, this Richard's is amazing. Wind is here, so wind is here. So, so, so. And then, uh, now, if you want to explain it simply, the base of the base, the man who is using the figure of Hamon's figure, is used by people. But it is used to imagine the world of the world. ということで、ここからこうずっと繋がってくるんですけれども、こういったえ細かいえっとアクセサリーが全部試作してます。で、これが全部これ支えがなくて一本のえっとまあこれ、例えばこの端のところだ。はい。で、まあここのところも今ここ
the base is supposed to be this way a little bit. It's kind of up, but. で、この辺の曲面にこのガンダムの中で映り込んでるようなペイントも全部自分で書き込んで表現してるんですよ。So of course the、uh, you guys know it's Wim, right? This is his. He painted the reflections of the other Gundam flying past him, and it's reflected into the model itself. なのでもう。<laughs> so there's no mistaking, this is a fantastic piece. So if it's so good, why is it third? So why is it third? It's so well done. There's so much visual detail here that for the casual observer, we don't know what the subject actually is. There's no focal point. So when Karl Dijon looks at it, he imagines it must be the Zaku, it must be the centerpiece, but. まあ、ここはイメージしてる世界なんだけれども、ここの人たちは、どちらかというとドスレなんかも少しあるんですけど、これがあまり目立たないようにしてあげて。で、あくまでもこれを中心にして、じゃあこのガンダムのちょっとハ
So, right. ze zeitaku is a fantastic Japanese word that means like luxury. You know, it's Kogushi san saying, isn't it wonderful that we have the, the luxury to judge these wonderful artworks? But it's only the final points because that's what people are always asking him. So it's been helpful for us. And it's those very small final details that will make the difference between uh, you know winning and being in the placements. So this one's uh, number two in open, uh, the person is from the Philippines. There's a lot of visual detail in here, sorry, I would say. So there's a lot of visual detail here, it might be hard to pick out. The subject here is this uh, uh, female figure. And the concept is that she's making a mobile suit. And what's very interesting here is that the pilot compared to the finished mecha, it's quite a different scale to the usual Gundam universe. で、このモビルスーツを見ていくと、え、下の方がとぞされてないから、金属の両面にちょっと追加ギャラとか、ま、上の方も出来上がってきてるんで、え、しっかりとした、え、出てるとスクリコミっていうのが表現されています。and what was really cool about this one is that from here down, this is in bare metal and it's got the, the chalk construction marks so you can see what it looked like before it was finished and then everything from here above is, uh, has fully been painted so we can see a, a progress. Uh, and they've got the plans over here. So uh, it helps touch a, a touch of reality for us to have the plans etc on the side. Right, so very quickly we can see what she's doing. She's making a mecha. So the balance is very good. The figure, the mecha, overall is very balanced in a very high level. But also close moment is that sadly the colors a little bit, the colors clash a little bit. Uh, they're a little bit loud. Sadly, the color scheme hasn't really been thought through. There's uh, too many colors that clash, the orange, uh, etc. So it doesn't help to lead the eye. So one of the challenges is, of course, when you're painting something like this, you, again, like we were talking about with the construction, that you get caught up in it, so you keep painting things perhaps the same color. Right. Right. So, in this case, Kogucci Sun's explained, so orange is quite a nice color here, but there can be too much of a good thing. If you keep working it, it will become overworked quite quickly. Right. So this goes back to what Aaron was saying, that you've got to know when to stop. So, 
So there's something to learn from this one, is you know, the when to stop, not to take something too far. There's lots of cool storytelling here. Even the ground, the, uh, the little platform that she's standing on, it has quite a bit of cool weathering. So it gives us a story that she's working and making a lot of stuff here. But there's a little bit of incoherency there in that the floor looks like it's been taking quite a pounding, but the structure up above here, there should then to balance with that be some chipping, rust, uh, various stains, etc. Mm. And then, if this was a bit more beat up, the contrast would have been very clear between this new object she's building and the, uh, the batted workshop. And this further illustrates that idea that when you're making something this complicated, it is important that it has a story, a narrative. And from Kawaguchi-san's point of view, there's quite a few of this type of uh, finish that's, you know, ones that have probably been overworked a little bit. Now, most of you have probably seen this one already, right? This is the one that was the overall winner last year. One of the things that most people have the uh, most people's reaction when they first see this is that how could you get this much depth in that 50 centimeter cube? で、え、この辺も全部パースがついて、え、外、え、と、ベースの構成されてるんですけども、で、そこのところでそういう遠近感の古いがないような形で全部出てるやなとも配置されてるんですよね。あ、コミックさん、is uh, also one thing I missed in the last one was that we also get that wonderful feeling of zero gravity when we're looking into this. And around the outside, uh the orient it's difficult to explain the orientation is made for an environment working in zero gravity i guess it's not focused down did i get that out right and one of the really cool things about this one is that the background is obviously the background. It's painted in such a way with white and clears to produce a feeling of, uh, you know, not being perfectly clear. It's slightly away from the model. It's the background. So the base color chosen was of course white and that's been used to contrast against maintenance happening on the Exia because that's of course a carbon skinned mecha and white contrasts lovely against black. Because it's like uh, under maintenance, it's undergoing repairs, 
our mind tends to ask the question, where's all the extra stuff come from the Exia? And very cleverly, he's added it down here so that it gives us a feeling of completion. We see the complete story. So through use of a great number of our parts from different kits, we've got the arm being prepared here. That plus the effects of the contrast between the carbon and the white area here produces a wonderful level of atmosphere. Japanese have the wonderful word freaky. It's an atmosphere, an air, a taste, a theme, all into one. And that's one of the most wonderful things about this piece is that atmosphere that it produces. So uh, Kawaguchi san was able to speak with the person who made this and uh, the guy was basically he was close to 100% happy on how it came out. Uh, Kawaguchi san wanted to ask him what do you think about the pilot here? ね、so one of, there's a number of usual patterns that Kawaguchi san sees when displaying pilots with the mecha. Uh, there's the classic interaction pose. Then there's the version where the pilot and the mecha are not having any connection. They're looking in different, uh, you know, they've got different things going on. Then there's the version where the mecha is just lifeless and pointing ahead. In this one, Kawaguchi san has noticed that we're not sure what connection there is between the pilot and his mecha here. なので、ま、やっぱりあの、100% this is close to being a perfect uh, example of the gunpla art. The um of course, there's limitations. There's real-world limitations. Time, uh, you know, time available, materials, and what have you, to have this ready for the show. But as all of us will look at it, it's a good opportunity for us to also think about how we might change or improve on this ourselves. Right, so some of you might look at some of the wonderful uh, exhibits here and inside and think, oh, there's no way, I can't make something close to that. But Please don't be disheartened by that. All different modelers, different people here have got different levels of skill and ability, uh, and they may have been doing it for longer than you. But all of you will have different ideas, and especially your originality. So even looking at all of these, uh, uh, the models and the models on display, there's going to be some that you like and some that you don't. You may not like the base model, you might like another. But 
choose the ones that you like, work towards them and be positive with it. Working with the model uh, and having a positive attitude is very important. で、えー、と基本的に、えーとね、1年間例えば模型を作らないとスキルって、まあ、落ちちゃうんですよ。Some people get a little bit that,、uh, demotivated when they think about it, right? I've only got a year to make this, what should I do? で特にペイントに関しては、うん、その色の感覚っていうのがやっぱり、ね、なくなっちゃうんですね。例えば1年やんないと。はい、so, Working on it、uh, within the space of a year, you can kind of lose the ability to even see the colors you're working on. I think he's talking about like snow blindness. So it's easy to get off mission as you're mixing things, mixing、uh, different colors, putting things together. You can start to、uh, doubt what you're doing. なのでぜひねあの、まあ、コンテストっていうのは一つの目安として、えー、というのを自分で作って塗装して仕上げるっていう一連の作業を完結できるようにしてもらうとスキルは間違いなく上がっていきます。What Kogichi san suggested is that having that strong mental image of what you're wanting to do and staying with that and bringing that mental image to fruition is a very important thing to do. なので、あのーまあねえー、とローカルプラザなんかで、はいえー、応募しやすいようにっていう、えー、コース設定なんかも GBWC 僕らしてます、うん、でただ、まあ、そういうのとは別に締め切りっていうタイミングまでに自分を完成させるっていう目的としてこれを使ってもらうっていうのは、えー、とてもいいんじゃないかなと思います。So, even if you're not wanting to be one of the top people who wins, if you're just still getting started in this, one of the wonderful opportunities to use GBWC4 is to give yourself a deadline.、Uh, working to a deadline does help you to be a little bit more、uh, you know, uh, time conscious to help you move along. だから僕なんかのプライベートで作ってる模型は完成しないんですよ、なかなか。そう、ポーカーグッチさん、because he's so busy on this, he does try to make models himself, but he says honestly, I can never finish them. で、工作とかっていうのはもう終わりがないんでね、うん、やればやるほどもっとやらなきゃなんなくなっちゃうっていう気持ちになっちゃうから。The trouble for Kao Gucci san is because there's no deadline, there's no reason to finish them, he keeps finding new stuff to do on his projects. なのでどっかで自分で、えー、ここまでに作るっていう、えー、スケジュールを決めてじゃあそこからじゃあいつぐらいまでに盗作を終わらせいつぐらいまでに塗装するで仕上げにどれぐらいっていうふうな一応スケジュールを立てて、うんえーとまあ、こういったコンテストなんかっていうのをうまく使ってもらうといいと思います。So, Kawaguchi san's advice is please do use this opportunity to help schedule yourself. You've got a year to bring back something for our show. Uh, use that to, to, to plan your build, the painting, and the, the steps. As Ryan always says to us, time management, right? Some of us might say, I can't paint anything. Right, and of course, Gunpla doesn't need to be painted, it comes in color. So, not to worry, even just starting off with、uh, cutting nubs, nub removal, cleaning up your kits, your skills will improve over time. So, please don't worry, take it step by step. As you work on the basic fundamental skills, you will improve over time. そうすると作るの早くなるから、and you get faster at doing it too. で、その分、えー、ちょっと今までやったことないことにちょっとチャレンジしてみる。Okay. And every now and then, challenge something you haven't done before.、えー、そういうふうにしてね、模型っていうのをちょっと楽しんでもらうと、えー、いいんじゃないかなというふうに思います。And by challenging new things, I do hope that you will have more fun with modeling. で、来年、2020年は、ガンプラが、まあ、さっきのガンダムが40周年今年ね、で来年はガンプラが40周年そうですよね
おめでとうございますで,でワールドカップが GBWC も10回大会になりますああ、yeah. とってもアニバーサリーの年になります Yeah, so next year is a super anniversary year for,、uh, for Gunpla because this year, is,、uh, Gundam? this year is the Gundam 40th anniversary. I may have said Gunpla, I'm so sorry, but Gundam, the show, is 40 years this year. Next year, thank you very much, Kalgi san, Gunpla is 40 years and、uh, GBWC will have been in 10 years. So it's a big year for us. So we're thinking that the 10th anniversary of GBWC is an important event. And we'd really like to bring GBWC to more people and have more people enjoy and have fun with it. なのでね、まああのー、今年のオーストラリアが決まりましたが、えーまあ、今からでも10周年に向けて、そう、スタートナウ、You can be ready for GBWC 10th anniversary。Let's begin。やってもらえるといいかなと思います。えー、来年も、えー、元気であれば僕もまた。じゃあ、next year、next year、カオビチさんも like to be back with us。And、uh, you guys know Genki? <laughs> Everyone knows Genki, right? Genki will be full of energy and,、uh, and happy with us. Thank you very much from the sidelines. Thank you very much, Bob. Hi, how are you doing? Let me know. Last Gundam, the story that you guys have told me. Is everybody familiar with the story of the first Gundam? Okay, I'll just put you down now. It's okay. えー、と午後のセッションでは、はい、そういうちょっとファーストランナー、まあ、40周年ということもあるんでね、はい、ちょっとファーストランナーにも面倒くさい話をします。そう、カウビチさん、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実は、実こういうことを考えると、あ、面白いねっていうふうな、えっ、ー、と、例を出せればなというふうに思っています。これ、あれ難しい。うん、すみません。いえ、すごい。<笑>あのー、難しく考えなくても、ストーリーを、はい、はい、といてもらうと、はい、あ、簡単にもらって、まあ、楽しい。楽しいよ。わかすみません。ディアン。You're talking about the pain in the backside thing, but it was actually me. The, uh... It's, it's not a difficult story to get around, but next he'd like to explain how understanding the story actually can make building the models more fun too.、えーとえー、And that's all we have for you this morning. Thank you very much for the first show. We'll be back later. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.